Greetings, everyone. Today, we are restarting a very fun and very easy game for the Game Boy, Kirby's Dream Land. Yes, the first game to ever feature that pink little puffball that can suck up enemies and absorb their powers, that little pink mass of destruction. Ah. And yeah, I said restart because I originally did this game for my channel, but the quality and the pain of putting it together was ugh. So, thankfully, since I have new technology, I can uh, do it again and do it better. Anyway, this is Kirby, and in this game, well, he can suck enemies, he can blow enemies, and that's it. That's all he does in this game. Yes, the ability to suck up enemies and absorb powers, um, they do not introduce that feature until the next game, Kirby's Adventure. Why? Well, they gotta do something better. I mean, Kirby can't just suck and blow enemies all the time. I mean, uh, that'd be ridiculous. It'd be boring. Oh, hi, Poppy Brother Sr. And, yeah. And of course, uh, his pattern is very easy. He throws bombs, he hops around, he can just move under, like so, and one more bomb should defeat him. Yeah. Anyway, what's the plot of this game? Well, the plot of this game is the greedy King DDD has stolen all the food from Dreamland, and it is up to Kirby to stop him. We are going to kill every enemy in his path just to get back every ounce of food that that greedy penguin stole. Yes, I'm calling him a penguin because, um, well, he looks like a penguin. I mean, sure, I, I hear he's uh, called something else, but come on. He is a uh, penguin with a uh, thing for wrestling. Yeah. Now, um, from what I've read, uh, I originally heard that um, the uh, that this was not to be the final Kirby sprite. Yeah, I heard that this was a place uh, holder for another sprite that uh, the company were going to use, but. Um, uh, I don't know who um, decided that this was a good idea, uh, either uh, the development team or Sakurai or I don't know. Anyway, here we are, first boss, Wispy Woods, easiest boss ever. Just suck up the apples and just shoot them right at them. And you can be at point blank range, not get hurt, you can even duck underneath those um, puffs of air that he shoots at you. Ugh. And just like that, he's de well defeated, and we made him cry. Yeah, seriously, Wispy Woods, you have to do better than that. Although, um, yeah. I hear in hard mode. Yeah, there's a hard mode of this game. He can also release some Gordos to give a slightly extra challenge, but, mm, well, I'm not going to do hard mode. Well, at least not yet. Anyway, here we are, the second stage, castle, low, low, low. And, yeah, those are power-ups if you want to get them. I mean, this place is full of bats, ghosts, bombs, microphones, and things that sweep. Yay, and masks that come to life, and ow. So, is this implied that this place is haunted? I'm not sure. Oh, uh, ugh. Yeah, you can see that's the first game of the series. His uh, swimming ability is kind of uh, nerfed. Come on, come on. Get past these things. Alright. Now, King DDD has hired all these guys to try and stop Kirby to prevent uh, him from taking back all the food. Oh, and hi, uh, Lollipop, the star man of the game. Yeah. And mummy things, yeah. Okay, as I was saying, uh, King DDD hired all these guys to stop Kirby from getting all the food. He okay, first was a tree that cannot move, all right? And this guy right here, Lolo Lo. Now, Lolo Lo is actually uh, based off the uh, characters of Lolo from uh, an early uh, HAL Laboratories game, The Adventures of uh, Lolo, I believe. Um, I don't know why they repurposed some of their characters for the um, for this game. Um, I guess they decided to make it in a hurry. But yeah. So um, uh, 
of course, even though we supposedly kill Lolo Lolo, -Lo, he'll be back and he will have a friend with him. And here we go, the boss. Same deal, we just have to take their blocks that they're pushing and blow it back at him. Oh, and um, his partner, La La La. And she's female because uh, she has a bow in, on her head. See? And all they do is just push blocks. They push blocks, they go around the room, and that's it. That's uh, that's all they do. Sometimes in hard mode, they can push Gordos and they move faster, but... Um... Yeah, this is all they do. I wonder what uh, the interviews were like for uh, King DDD's uh, bosses. Hmm. Hey, y'all. You can move boxes? Uh, yes, sir. Well, well, your son, um, you're hired. Just push boxes to stop all the enemies. Ha ha ha. Ugh, that was stupid. All right, stage three, float aisles. Not floating island, float aisles. And, oh, Kirby. <laughs> oh, he's gonna need a bayonet or something after that. And clams that shoot lasers. Yeah. Yeah, so Kirby's Reign of Terror begins. We are killing enemies left and right. We are killing Waddle Dees that are just moving about. We're killing these guys right here and these guys. And why? Well, he's a pink... Well, in this game, he's a white uh, ball of death. Now, to be fair, in this game, DDD is an outright villain. I mean, he did steal all the food and because, well, he's greedy. So, um, at least there's an excuse in this game. In other games, such as Kirby's Adventure or some portions of Kirby's Superstar, well, Kirby causes a bunch of death because of misunderstanding. You know, because, um, well, miscommunication, you know, the thing uh, poor communication kills? Well, in Kirby's Adventure, if King DDD were to tell Kirby of the reason he took the Star Rod, well, maybe Kirby would understand? And stop the and maybe find a way to stop the nightmare together. No, instead he had to kill a bunch of uh, DDD's minions and the. Um, well, yeah, there's that. And then there's uh, Dynablade from a uh, superstar. Yeah, all uh, she wanted was food for her babies, and uh, we had to go and uh, well kill everybody that's in our way and hurt the mother before we realized the mistake. He's like, okay. Although, to be fair, um, from what I've read, or if you uh, take the anime into consideration, um, Kirby is essentially an infant, uh, well, an infant god thing. So, um, he, um, he's only learning. He's still learning right from wrong. Yeah. Um, here we have some spicy curry. And uh, it allows you to, well, essentially blow a bunch of hot... Uh, things at him, hot, hot breath at the enemies, destroying all the things in the path. And despite being all glowy and stuff, he is not invincible. He can still take damage and die while in this mode. And see, water instantly cancels it out because, uh, you know, it cools things down. <laughs> yeah, a lot of gimmicks with food. You know, maximum tomatoes restore all health. Um, canisters restore some of your health. And, yeah, spicy curry, the lollipop invincibility thing. <clears throat> And, yeah. Well! That's uh, some good distance on that water spout there. And we are approaching the boss of uh, this stage. And this here is called the Sweet Mint. Or, and uh, it grants Kirby the ability to fly for a brief... Uh, pro, uh, for a look good long while. And allows Kirby to fire um, minty breath at him. And the boss we're fighting right now is called Kabula. And Kabula here is actually King DDD's uh, air balloon. And she uh, basically shoots pellets. You can just dodge them and easily de defeat them like that. The pattern's easy. Well, anyway, I'll see you in uh, part two.